Ja som to tak, ako učíš. Sa rúfu, ktorý je také ďalej, ako si tie turmy, váhom a smutom, my váhom si náhrať. Ja som pádol, lebo bolo asi ešte čak tým, čo tak keď sa prášil, že ja som ešte tam bol, lebo mám hrať tým bolom, že bolom tam asi ešte čom širíšom kráčarom, a asi pádol pár tým, čo vstával, a keď ešte čom tam tu, tak on vlastne tvárom, a ja na svet budú, som to tam vlastne osmiel. Čiže tým sme tým pránánám, ádiem, kronádiem, Namami Bhagavad Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Bhadrajam Sutra Bhashikrata Vande Bhagavanta Upanah Panaha Jishwara Vaguru Ratmi Iti Murti Bhede Vibhagini Pravati Vyapta Deha Vedakshana Murti Namaha Mum Sahana Vodu Sahana Vunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahi Tejas Navadi Tamasmar Kshavahi I Om Shanti 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 Dobrá mu hrát vydát, kterou mě vydát. Jednou teď jsme to lům, hledy má tu hudy prakáš a můžu širovej šarana mohem prapadí. Šanty, šanty, šanty. Amna jantej v tom sedním ádiu a dhyanto a sedm. Ananda hana má půrnam atma dživoty rupásmu. OK, so. We. We are looking at the second pada of the first chapter where Aspashta Brahmalinga Vedanta Vakyas are being analyzed and we looked at the first three sutras in the Sarvatra Prasiddha Dikaranam. So Sarvatra Prasiddha Dikaranam, this Brahma is well known. So Aspashta, what you claim to point to jiva or prana ityadi <coughs> still the brahma which is prasiddha is what is intended in those upasanas as well says the siddhanti so case by case some examples are taken and analyzed now here the chandogya chandilya vidya words are being looked at and puropakshi says that since there is bahulyam of Jeeva Linga and there is no Brahma Linga at all or there is Alpattam of Brahma Linga then due to that the analysis of yours showing Samanvaya of all Vedanta Vakyas into Brahma would fail. However, Siddhanti showed that Brahma Linga even if it is less still Brahma by Upadhi can take Jeeva Lingas, but Jeeva cannot take Brahma Linga even if there are many Manomaya, Manomaya Tvam, Prana Sharira Tvam, all these can be Jeeva Lingas, but they can also be, being Sadharana, Jeeva Sadharana, they can also be Brahma Linga. However, Brahma Linga cannot be Jeeva Linga at all. For example, Satya Sankalpa Tvadi. This cannot be Jeeva Linga at all. Nitya Tvena. Samanja Sena Nitya Tvena. It cannot be. Therefore, Anupa Pattes Tuna Shari Raha. This is what we saw in the last part. Itaschana Shari Raha Upasche Tyaha. In that section, everywhere, but it's particularly now under discussion in the context. Itaschya, due to this reason also, Shari Raha Jeeva Ha Na Upasya. Why so? So now he is going to point out, the Siddhanti is going to point out, there is Karma Kartru Virodha. Karma Kartru Virodha is, in Vyakran also you see, the same Karta cannot be Karma. The Karta of the Vakya cannot be the Karma of the Vakya as well. In any Prayoga, Kartari Karma Kartri, Prayoga in any Prayoga you cannot have Dhatu that indicates Kriya cannot have the same Karta as Karma. In Vyakrana maybe you will justify it one way or the other. Because one can say, in Vyakrana, only in Vyakrana, I mean only by Laukika Drishti you can say that the person scratches his back for example. But what is missed there is that the person is having avayavas. The hand is scratching the back really. 
So the Vedanta in perspective is that wherever there are avayavas possible, parts possible, then one part can interact with the other part, although there is abhimana in both the parts as one's own, still the parts are different. So there is no kartra karma, virodha there. But the jiva as a whole, as an entity, jiva, when you look at jiva as upasya, then it is not the hand which is upasya or the head which is upasya. So Shastra counter given is that just the way you cannot stand on your own shoulders. And by standing, we mean that not the, you know, some, uh, somebody who has a very flexible body, whose spine is so flexible that one can put his feet on the shoulder. Not that. You should be able to stand on the shoulders. Ready to walk. That is not possible. Because it is the same entity. When you take the person as the same entity, then you cannot stand on yourself and walk. That's what is meant. That is karma kartru virodha. That is shown here. If the upasya is jiva, who is the upasaka? Pura Pakshi will say, obviously the upasaka is jiva. Then how can you have jiva doing jiva upasana? See, this refutation was not given earlier. Although jiva upasana was talked about in the Pratardana Adhikarana also. This was not pointed out because the focus there was between the three, Indra Devata, Prana and Jiva. One of them is Upasya. Whereas, Brahma is not Upasya. And the Siddhanti took the way of counter by showing the Brahmalinga only. Whereby he could refute all three. So, specific Jiva refutation was not done using this methodology, Karma Kartru Virodha. Anyway, since Jiva alone is the Upasya as per Puro Pakshi here, it is taken up for refutation in this manner now. Karma Kartru Epadeshacha. Karma Kartru Epadeshacha. So, Karma and Karta both are taught here. Upasaka and Upasana both are part of the teaching. The Upasaka is the Adhikari. So, Adhikaritvena Nirdishta. Upasaka, what, who is the Adhikari? That kind of a discussion would be there. And then, what is the Upasya? That is Karma. So, Karta is the Kartru, Karta is the Upasaka who has Adhikara in that Upasana. If it is Karmanugata, uh, Karmagata Upasana, then who has Adhikara in Karma also? That Karma is not Vyakrana Karma, that Karma is Vaidika Karma, Dharma. Here this karma is Vyakrana karma. Vyakrana karma in the sense what? <coughs> upasana being the kriya, the karma for the upasana, vishaya of the upasana. That is, karma here means vishaya of the upasana. So karma kartru vyapadeshacha. Upasana karma and upasana kartru vyapadeshacha. Who is the upasana karma? Not jiva. Upasana karma naha. Brahmanaha Upasaka Karta Upasaka Kartaram Jeevam Prati Vipadeshacha. So, what is the teaching? Kar, this Kartaram Prati Karmanaha Vipadeshacha. Towards this Karta, towards this Upasaka Karta, there is a teaching of some Upasana Karma. Upasya. So that will be Upasana karma will be Upasya and Upasana karta will be Upasaka. So what is what does this really mean? Upasya Upasya Brahmanaha or Upasya Brahmanaha Upasaka Prati Vyapadeshacha. Who is that Upasaka? Jiva. So therefore Jivam Prati Brahmanaha Vyapadeshacha Upasya Tvina. Not Jiva Jiva Seva. So, Jeevam Prati, Jeevaha, Upasya na bhavati. Why? Karma Kartru, Hirodhat. Therefore, the Upasaka Karta and Upasya Karma have to be different. They are taught there. Anyatha, Karma Kartru, Hirodha, or Kartru Karma, Hirodha, however you want to put it. The Vritti says, Eta mitha pretya, abhisambhavitas, abhisambhavitas me. <coughs> we saw this. In the 
Chandilya Vidya section where it starts from the first mantra, the second, third and then fourth mantra says etam, etam itaf pretyo, etam atmanam, that atmanam itaf pretyo abhisambhita asmi, ityanena etam iti, what that, what is that etam, itaf pretyo, having given up this body, having moved away from this body, meaning having died to this body, Abhisambhavita asmi. Asmi. I, having given up this body, pretya, abhisambhavita asmi. So there, ityanena prakrutasya manomayatwadi gunakasya brahmanaha karmatvena prapyatvena abhisambhavita asmi means prapta asmi. So, I will attain, or I am the one who attains what? As an upasaka, I attain the upasana phala. That upasana phala is the upasya vishaya itself. As we saw earlier, in any devata upasana also, the upasaka wants to be one with the or merge with the upasya devata. May I get your gunas while living and after dropping of the, of the body, May I merge with you? This is the Dvaitins which are also, but then it ends with Devata Aikya. Devata Darshana, really, but then Aikya is also possible by Abhimana there as to I want to be an Ausha of yours. However, they have their own understanding. Shastra says that these are possibilities. The way you have your Upasana Bhava, so will be the result. Just like Yatha Karma, Tatha Phalam, Tatha Shrutam, elsewhere Bhagavan Bhashyakara says. So one takes resort to those Shrutis, has one understanding, <coughs> one type of understanding and then follows that, gets that kind of a Phala. Here, Etam Itaf Pretya Abhisambhavita Asmi, I will attain you in any which way, whether you say as, you know, want to have Darshana, all the other kinds of Muktis, you know, Sarupya, Samipya, all that, in I am taking this as general case, not here. General case. General case of the Upasana, Bhakti, Ityadi. They say that this will lead to Mukti. What kind of Mukti? Sarupya Mukti, Salokya Mukti, Ityadi. We are talking about Sadhya Mukti, here and now. Or through knowledge really. As to, even if it is Krama Mukti, it is through knowledge. Aikya. But here, if it is attainable, something that has to be attained, then that attained is different. Praptasya praptihi jnanena. But apraptasya prapti. Here, Upasana is showing you that which is not you. It is not saying that you are sarvakarma, sarvakama. Satya Sankalpa, it is saying Brahma is that. Are you that? You aren't that. So, the, if the Upasana says, Oh, Satchidananda Brahma is Upasya, and you inquire into it, and then the Shastra reveals that you are also Satchidananda, then there is no also. There is only Aikya. But here the teaching is different. The Gunas are different. What are the Gunas? Brahma Gunas, which are not Jiva Gunas, which have to be taken up in the Tattvamasi kind of an equation. So here these are to be held on to. These are ones which will give you phala which is sought after by you. Therefore, you the upasaka is different from the upasya where brahma is the karma, upasya. Ityanena etam iti prakrutasya. This etam, etam, so etam will connect here. Itaf pretya. Having moved away from the sharira, having died to the sharira, etam abhisambhavita asmi, etam prapta asmi. I will attain this or I am attaining this. Then what is said there is, who is that etam? Who is meant by the word etam? This. In pullinga, atma. So atma anam. So Puro Pakshi says that it has to be jiva atma, pullinga twat. However, the Prakruta context is what? 
is that mayomayatva guna visheshta and not only mayomayatva but mayomayat manomayatvaadi not only manomayatva but manomayatvaadi adi padena all these satya sankalpa tvaadi will come in so you can't just say that manomayatva which is jiva sadharana that alone is intended being jiva sadharana it is also it is not asadharana so it is also brahma guna brahma can take the upadi we saw towards the closing in the last patha that ishwara himself takes these at the samashti level and then becomes manomayatvaadi guna vishishta so that guna ka brahma has satya sankalpa tvaadi guna is also sarva kaam sarva kaamatvam sarva karmatvam all that is there therefore the upasya is brahma brahmana karmatvena prapyatvena so upasana vishaya is karma upasya and that upasya becomes prapya also to be attained therefore prapyatvena abhisambhavitasmi prapta asmi even if i say i have attained the attainment during the attainment i am bhinna from the upasya as an upasaka iti शारीर से कर्तृत्न व्यपदिश्यमर्थ एंड वी डोंट हैव टू यू नो प्राप्त अस्मी अस्मी ऑल दीज लटलकार शुड नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज लटलकार इन वेद दे आर ऑल लेट इन द सेंस ऑफ विधि सो इट्स एन उपासना विधि फॉर वन हू वॉन्ट्स एन उपासना फला ही इज एन अधिकारी एंड देन दिस इज द फला एंड फॉर दिस फला दिस इज द विधि सो एवरी लकार इज सीन एज लेट लकारा विच इज इन दी मीनिंग ऑफ विधि लिंग देर फोर शारीर जीवा इज नॉट दी उपास्य कर्तृत्व व्यपदिश्य मानवाथ इति शारीर से कर्तृत्व शारीर से जीव से उपासना कर्तृत्व मीनि उपासक व्यपदिश्य मानवा उपासका के नॉट बी उपास्य दट इज ऑल इट इज इतन शारीर उपास्य ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ऑलसो शारीर जीवा इज नॉट दि उपासना विषय उपास्य उपासन विषय और उपास कर्म उपासन कर्म वाय शब्द विशेषा शब्द विशेषा शब्द विशेषा मीनिंग दी शतपथ ब्राह्मण इज कोटेड हियर एस टू शब्द 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 विच इज यूज हियर इन दी हियर इन देंस शतपथ ब्राह्मण मंत्र देर वेर देर इज समान श्रुति दॉन्टेक्स्ट दी कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज सिमिलर एंड दिस सिमिलरिटी इज एग्रीएबल टू दी पूर्वपक्षी ऑल्सो सो देर बिकॉज उपासना द उपासना इज ऑफ दी पुरुषा देर so there is a purusha word mentioned and there is antaratman mentioned antaratman there see ant, the vritti says antaratman purusho hiranmaya ha so hiranmayatvena upasyatvam if you look at the karma also there but in karma why do you need hiranmayatvam you are not going to see hiranmayatvam is golden body having a golden body just like here what do we have manomayatvam there hiranmayatvam so some kind of kind of similarity is there therefore this quoted by the siddhanti how do you understand that mantra that vakya there why have step motherly treatment here there in the karma kanda where you have to do upasana there do you say that golden body is mine there hiranmayatvam you don't desire to be hiranmaya ityadi you don't consider yourself as hiranmaya also but you can say you know uh, you can bring all sorts of misunderstandings misinterpretation the way you are doing here however there who is that purusha is that jiva who is that antaratman is that jiva who is that hiranmaya purusha hiranmaya also is that jiva what was your analysis there as the siddhanti to the purva pakshi so samana prakaran that is the shabda vishesha there the shabda will be pointed out and what is the vishesha there 
you look at that and compare with this mantra here in the chandogya shandilya vidya context there is similarity and the conclusion there you should extend here also the analysis should be extended the conclusion also should be similar and what should be the conclusion the conclusion is that this purusha is separate separate from because antaratman has been talked about there and antaratman is what it is saptam vibhakti antaratmani antaratman is a pratipadikam but in chandasi vishaye supam suluk purva savarno chheyad adhyaya jalah so there is a vyakarana sutra we say supam suluk our interest in supam suluk and then there are some replacements given chandasi vishaye in vedas there is supluk so subanta pada should have been antaratmani but supluk has taken place so gni pratyaya has gone and you have got antaratman which is saptami seventh case singular so samana prakarane antaratman purushah shabda vishesha this a single word so there is not much to i mean give a vritti there but we have to put this mantra together with that sutra to make a vritti so you can say antaratman purushah hiranmayah iti shabda visheshat antaratmanah upasyah purusha anyah so antaratman this antaratman the individual compared to this individual antaratman purusha hiranmayah purusha anyah similarly here manomayah manomaya vishishta purusha anyah manomayah anyah or mayomanat what we had seen manomayatvadi gunakah upasya anyah so you extend it here and you say shabda vishesha what kind of shabda vishesha you quote something else so antaratman purusho hiranmayah ityatra shabda vishesha yatha so to give a longer rutti will say yatha antaratmanah upasya purusha anyah antaratmanah sakashat yatha उपास्य पुरुष अन्य तत्र शतपथ ब्राह्मणे तथा अत्रापि मनोमयत्वादि गुणकः ब्रह्म उपास्य अन्य जीवात अन्य सो सिंस दी वर्ड इज शॉर्ट इन दी सूत्र यू विल हैव टू सप्लाई अ लॉट टू मेक अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस एनीवे द वृत्ति एक्सप्लेन समान प्रकरणे अंतरात्मन पुरुषः हिरण्मयः इति शारीरस्य यह शब्दः अभिधायक सप्तम यंत सो सप्तम यंत इज टेलिंग यू दैट वन हु इज शारीरः जीवः नॉट द शरीर शारीर शरीरस्य अस्ति शरीरस्य इदम इज आल्सो पॉसिबल बट वी सी एज द जीवा हैज द शरीर जीवा इज नॉट ऑफ द शरीर सो वी अंडरस्टैंडिंग मीनिंग not the exact aditya vritti it can be but sharirah sharirah is jeeva who is sharirat anyah but he is not upasya he is the upasaka sharirah is not doing upasana sharirah is the karana through which the jeeva is doing upasana who wants better gati after the drop of this body so itah pretya itah uh, itah sharirat pretya having gone away from the sharira dropping this body at death of the sharira not of the jiva jiva goes away so this that jiva is the upas upasaka upasana karta so antaratmani jiva antaratmani that jiva that atmani there is reflexive it is in one self whoever is that jiva in that sharira what you consider as yourself i am this person I am a Brahman, a Kshatriya, a Vaishya, a Shudra, etc. That kind of understanding is there in that one who is residing. That you is the Jiva who is Upasaka. So this is Antaratman is not first case. Antaratmani Purusha. In that the Purusha who is there, that Hiran Maya is Upasya. So if you can take Atma is reflexive there as one self. In me that Purusha, Hiran Maya Purusha is Upasya. So in myself. i will do upasana of that purusha that jiva also who i consider myself who can be said as within the sharira it is not antaratmani 
you will have to st- i mean there also you have the scope of puro pakshi arguing that one within is me jiva and since purusha hiranmay is upasya within me then it has to be jiva but is that analysis done there and such a conclusion made no in karma kanda you will say that purusha hiranmaya is separate and i am within this sharira as a sharira that jiva i am upasaka but hiranmaya purusha is different from me although in that saptami the difference is shown still you will not be taking that atma as jiva with atmani as jiva within that but still it is possible that misunderstanding is possible there why did you not do that kind of analysis there there you were very fair to the analysis you made all the ways the mimamsaka will weigh and then finally conclude but here in the jnana kanda you are not doing that analysis therefore samana prakarane there antaratmani purusha the saptamyantah antaratmanniti tasmad vishishtah anyah prathamanta purusha shabdah manomayatvaadi vishishtah now it is extended it is extended to this mantra in chandogya taking from taking cue from shatapada brahmana mantra so there sharirasya yah shabdah iti sharirasya yah shabd abhidhayaka which word stands for the sharira there sharira jeeva saptam yanta stands for that sharira jeeva they are in samanadikaranam the jeeva is in samanadikaranam with the saptam yanta antaratmaniti abhidhayaka that shows the atma saptam yanta is in samanadikaranam with the sharira jeeva therefore jeeva is antaratman pratipadikam meaning antaratma so antaratma is sharira jeeva antaratmani saptami shows there within that jeeva now so by showing the saptami you are showing that there is bheda within that so within that is not you yourself you cannot be within yourself there will be you know in the, in the adhikarana you cannot be you have to be separate from the adhikarana so antaratman niti saptamyantah sharira vachaka shabda that jeeva vachaka shabda tasmad vishishtah anyah there is another different from that jeeva who has abhimana with the sharira see the the reason is because the sharira is jeeva even if you say he is within oh that atma is separate we bring all kinds of vedanta analysis there but still he is a sharira if he is sharira then sharira is no longer an upadi it is a visheshana the difference between pratyagatma and samsari jeevatma is or we'll say the jeevatma who is brahma and jeevatma who is samsari a samsari jeeva and samsari jeeva what is the difference the sharira or all the shariras are not an upadhi for samsari jeeva they are visheshanas whereas for the asamsari jeeva all the shariras are upadi and being upadi is the upadi cannot be you you cannot be connected with the upadi they are all incidental they are not part of you they are agantuka you are nitya therefore the that kind of a upadi krutha jeeva will be asamsari anyway that's an aside here antaratman niti yah sharira jeeva tasmad vishishta anya who is that hiranmaya hiranmayatvena upasya anya prathamantha purusha shabda similarly here manomayatvadi vishishtasya atmana abhidhayakah so this atma here in this context is not that atma in chandogya the atma which is talked about by atmanam why because etam etam in the earlier mantra what was quoted etam itah earlier sutra the mantra which was quoted etam itah preeti etam is atmanam etam atmanam who is that atma that atma is not the atma of the shatapatha brahman antaratma that antaratma is shariraha however the way that antaratma was separate and purusha hiranmaya purusha was separate similarly here manomayatva manomayatvadi gunakah 
विल बी डिफरेंट एज उपासया फ्रॉम दी आत्मा विच आत्मा दी उपासक आत्मा बट दे आत्मा नम विच इज शोन बाय एतम द सेकंड केस दैट आत्मा इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम दी जीव आत्मा उपासक आत्मा द इंडिविजुअल उपासक स्टैंड सेपरेटली एज ए कर्ता एंड देन द वे पुरुष शब्द वाज सेपरेट इन द शतपथ ब्राह्मण फ्रॉम आत्मा सिमिलरली हियर आत्मा नम सेकंड केस हियर एज उपासन कर्म will be separate and it will be manomayatvadi guna vishishta that vishishtasya atmanah abhidhayaka this etam will show that purusha there if you want to draw parallels then you will see the purusha who was upasya in shatapata brahmana hiranmayatvena similarly here atma is the same purusha who is upasya by saying etam as attainable praptasmi सो मनोमयत्वादी विशिष्ट से ब्रह्मण अभिधायक इट विल स्टैंड फॉर दि उपास्य एज ब्रह्म नॉट एज ब्रह्म एज उपास्य बट नॉट दि जीव तस्य सत्वाद न परस्माद अन्य शारीर उपास्य एंड सिंह सच थिंग इज सीन यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट दैट कैंड ऑफ ब्रह्म एक्सिस्ट मनोमयत्वादी गुण विशिष्ट ब्रह्म एक्सिस्ट इट इज नॉट ओनली मनोमयत्वादी मनोमयत्व इत्यादि एज पर दि पूर्व पक्षी कोटेशन दि फर्स्ट टू वर्ड्स इन दि मंत्र मनोमयत्व और प्राण शरीर अदर देन दैट देर इज ब्रह्मण सत्वा हू कैन बी मनोमय एंड प्राण शरीर ऑलसो बाय उपाधि बाय बाय बींग सत्य संकल्प ही कैन टेक एनी बॉडी देर फोर सत्य संकल्प इत्यादि विशिष्ट हू कैन बी मनोमयत्वादि विशिष्ट ऑल्सो देर फोर ही दट कैंड ऑफ ब्रह्म डज एक्सिस्ट फॉर उपासक इट इज पॉसिबल टू हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ उपास्य बुद्धि ब्रह्म बुद्धि विथ सच गुणास विच आर जीव साधारण गुणास एंड ऑल्सो ब्रह्म असाधारण गुणास विच कैनॉट बी इन जीवा लाइक दी सत्य संकल्प इत्यादि व्हाट वी सॉ स्टडी देयर फोर न परस्माद अन्य शारीर उपास्य परस्माद ब्रह्मण परमात्मन अन्य शारीर उपास्य न इट इज नॉट जीवा हु इज शरीर संबद्ध दैट कैंड ऑफ जीवा इज नॉट उपास्य बीइंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम परमात्मा परस्माद इज परमात्मन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम परमात्मा इज नॉट द उपास्य परमात्मा ब्रह्म इज उपास्य इत्यर्थ किंच नाउ श्रुति हैज बीन कोटेड स्मृति विल बी गिवन एज एन एग्जाम्पल दिस कैन बी सीन इन गीता ऑल्सो सेज दि सिद्धांति सो इफ यू फॉलो दैट मोर इफ इट दैट इज मोर क्लियर देन लुक एट दैट एज वेल वॉट इज भगवान कृष्णा से इंग देर सो गिविंग अ स्मृति ऑल्सो एज प्रमाण इट इज एस्टाब्लिश स्मृति स्मृति एंड ड्यू टू स्मृति ऑल्सो As simple as that, sutra is as simple. As, due to smriti also what? Due to smriti also, the upasaka jiva is not upasya, but Brahma is upasya, Paramatma is upasya. How so? Ishvara sarva bhuta nam hridde herjuna tishtati Brahma yan sarva bhuta ni yantra rudha ni maya ya. In the last chapter, eighteen chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Bhagwan Krishna says in the sixty-first verse. ईश्वर सर्वूता हृदेशे हे अर्जुन ठति हे अर्जुन सर्वूता हृदेशे ईश्वर ठति वॉट कैंड ऑफ ईश्वर सो ईश्वर इज देर ही रिसाइड्स ओ अर्जुन ईश्वर रिसाइड्स इन दि हार्ट इन दि इन दि सेक्शन ऑफ दि हार्ट और हृदेशे देशा इफ यू टेक हृदय हृदय सेल दैट इट सेल्फ इज देशा इन दी रीजन ऑफ द हार्ट हुज हार्ट्स सर्वभूताना ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बीइंग्स सो ईश्वरा रिसाइड्स इन द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बीइंग्स फॉर व्हाट पर्पस भ्रामयन तिष्ठति भ्रामयन इफ यू हैव टू जो करण विल से 
you know taking people for a ride not taking people for a ride bro taking people wherever they want to go the jeeva has some desires which have been there forever avidya krita avidya kama karma this triad is continuing and samsaran is continuing so kama is there every jeeva wants this or that even after drop of the body in the next janma those desires are to be fulfilled and to actually meet those desires this jeeva in earlier janma or in many other jan- earlier janmas also has done so much of karma and upasana has done laukika karma also which are in the bounds of dharma or adharma if they fall in the within the boundary of adharma or rather outside the boundary of dharma and then in the neutral region and then goes over across into adharma then also the results have to be given not only the dharma dharma results but adharma karma results also have to be given now whether the person himself considers as adharma is irrelevant the shastra says it is adharma so the result has to be given now let's say there is adogati a person the jeeva who was some varnashrama dharma human being earlier in the earlier janma has done some papa karma which is going to fructify and the fructification shastra says that it should be a particular kind of birth adogati some kind of an animal let's say i mean this for argument say let's say the pig he becomes a pig so just because the sharira is of a pig the same jeeva who has gone across all sorts of bodies he has been a human being of all types he has been a bird of all types he has been an insect of all types he has been a devata of all types rakshasa of all shariras has been taken up by that specific jeeva why how so how do we know because of anadi karma anadi avidya anadi avidya has led to anadi kama has led to anadi and ananta janma also by ananta because without jnana it will not have ananta at all so it will continue but a person can have vairagya by looking at it in such a manner that i don't need to do anything in this janma to meet my desires because i have tried all that whatever i want to become i have become all that i want to become an emperor of this particular kingdom or i have or you know multiple kingdoms because emperor not a king i want to be a not only a king i want to be an emperor why i have tried that earlier that is the reason i am continuing i have tried that some kind of phala also i have got that didn't satisfy me i tried something else that didn't satisfy me i tried something else and i am still not satisfied and trying something else if we think in this manner it is vairagya karaka therefore you know the upanishad says pariksha lokan karma chitan brahmano nirveda maya nastya krita krutena this akrutaha akrutaha moksha krutena karmana nasti karmana upasana nirva it is not possible to attain that which is unattainable as a result it is not created akrutha means it is not created with karma and upasana you have get a created result this is not created moksha is not a result of something if it is not resultant born of something how can i get it through karma or upasana which are going to give result they are for a result i have been trying to get result for my kama to meet my kama i have been trying to get a result through karma karma upasana ityadi karma adi karma and upasana whatever i have been trying to do across janmas in this janma itself if i analyze my experiences however young or old i am i will know that i have never been satisfied with any result if had i been satisfied i wouldn't do that karma again why would i do that karma again if i got the result and it stayed with me the result didn't stay with me my problem is that even if i am satisfied only in that moment i am satisfied when i got the result but the result didn't stay with me and it is foolish of me to try to 
do the karma again and hope that the result will stay again with me. The, the nature of the result is it will not stay. It is anitya. That is why it is called phala. It, in, in fact, why is karma phala called? It's a fruit. In literal translation, is fruit of the result. Why is it called a fruit of the karma? Karma phala. Because like the fruit, it perishes. Phalguvat liyate. So it, it, it perishes like the fruit. Therefore, it is called as phala. So karma phala by very yutpatti is something that is going to perish. How can it be nitya? So then coming back to the context of this smriti where I took a detour to say that tishtati sarvabhutani sarvabhutanam hridyeshe brahmen tishtati. So brahmen is takes them around really causative. Brahmi is the dhatu there not brahm, brahmi. Brahmi is what? Nijanta. Hetu Mati Nich. So, Ishwara is the, what we saw as Hetu Karta yesterday, for example. So, that Brahma Yan, Chatranta Pada, but with Brahmi Dhatu, which is causative of Brahm. Sanadyanta. Nijanta. So, he gives the result the way the Jiva wants. And the way Jiva wants and has done Karma. So when we took the example of the pig, we may think that oh, pig is an adugati, what a poor uh, you know life. But the pig wants to be a pig. Why does the pig want to be a pig? Because in the, the pig form was given because it wanted to be a pig. That jiva wanted to be a pig. The pig may be rejoicing as a pig. For however long, the sukha that the pig gets by consuming all sort of filth, is not different from the manushya eating the best of the emperor's food also. The sukha that is attained is not different. The vishaya may be different. The upadis are different. However, the, the, the uh, indriyas are different, rasendriya, but the end resultant sukha, ananda that the jiva is seeking through the human body or through the pig's body is not different. The sukha sought after is the same. The comparison may seem really odd, but then that's the comparison that will lead to Vairagya. It is not going to lead to Nitya Phala, Nitya Sukha. Not only that, Bhagavan who is Kripalu, why would he give the pig's body that we have to see? Because he is Kripalu. That Adhogati is also Krupa. Why? Because the jiva should get an opportunity to exhaust those desires. The jiva cannot get nitya sukha moksha unless one does vichara on the kama that is there, the vasanas which are there, the pending vasanas which need to be inquired into. The vasanas are limitless because the kama can be limitless. Why? By the very reason that the Jiva by Swarupa is Purna and wants to become Purna now, finding oneself as though limited. And this as though limitation is what we, you know, buffer by Vedanta. But then the fact is that he is completely feeling limited. There is no as though in his feelings, in his bhavana there is no as though. Oh, I, I don't want to be limited. I want to be a little more than this. That little more is never possible. Because that little more does not stay. The only possibility is to become Purna again. Again, by extension, because he never lost his Swarupa really, but then he feels that. Therefore, Bhagavan is giving an opportunity by doing, or rather causing this Brahmana, causing Brahmana. So, Brahmayan, taking every one the way everyone wants to go. Each and every one the way one wants to go. He is just a karma phaladata. He has no additional job. His only job is shrishti as per the jiva karma, sustenance as, the jiva kar as per jiva karma and resolution as per the jiva karma and because all this is 
in keeping with jiva karma he is a karma phaladata for all jivas based on their own karma and when they are ripe for fructification so he has to create that kind of a jagat at each and every point of time the jagat is in such a manner that all jivas karmas which are ripe for fructification at that moment are given as a result so the jagat has to be like that because samashti prarabdha at that point of time is exactly so governed by ishvara so therefore brahmayan how example is your sarvabhutani brahmayan yantra rudani mayaya just like yantram arudam mayaya just like one who you know as though, you know here if you look at the bhashya here bhagwan bhashyakara will say that like the you know a wooden person a person carved out of wood a toy carved out of wood and mechanically moved like a puppet but not puppet moved by the person who has a choice there here as do mechanically moved and what is that mechanics the mechanics is karma so yantra rudani rudhan how with ishara how does he do it maya ya maya ya shaktiya with the maya shakti he takes everyone where they want to go how by being in each and every being within each and every being so even if we hide he knows what what we have done what we have thought what we want to do all the sea knows and then based on what we have done he gives the result so this is the um this is the uh, smriti quoted ishara sarvabhutana hrudeshe arjuna tishtati brahmayan sarvabhutani yantra rudani mayaya ityadau jiva parmatmanor bheda smaranat for upasana upasana there is definitely bheda unless it is you know ahangra upasana even with that ahangraha is because you what are you grasping you are not grasping yourself as the upasya you are grasping something else as the upasya so that ahangraha grahana is of the other as oneself it is not a oneself as oneself if that jnana is there you don't need upasana but upasana in ahangraha is also looking at something as oneself something else as oneself not something oneself as oneself that something has to be other therefore jiva paramatmanor bheda smaranat na parasmad anya jiva upasye ti siddham so jiva is not upasya why jiva is the upasaka same reasoning is given but uh, same conclusion is shown but with what hetu with this smriti being quoted jiva paramatmanor bheda why ishvara is in all all the beings these beings are individuals jivas really not only one not only one body but in multiple bodies multiple jivas who are there this ishvara is within all of them and thereby jiva and parmatma are shown to be different there in that mantra uh, in that shloka so jiva parmatma or bhera smarana since such a smriti is there showing the difference between jiva and parmatma therefore parasmad brahmana anya jiva upasya nasti it is siddham this now will go with upas na na upasya jiva is not upasya parmatma brahma is upasya it is siddham this is established however now the puropakshi says oh you are talking like a dvaitin you claim yourself to be an advaitin but it this bheda is there but is kalpanika bheda we say yes in upasana it's all bheda needed in karma in vyavahara in laukika vyavahara also all sorts of bhedas are needed vaidika karma also you need all sorts of bheda we are not saying bhedas are not there in vyavahara without bhedas without bheda vyavahara itself is not possible you may see the jnani working then you may claim i mean as to oh, is that is he not a jnani then he has bheda bheda buddhi is not there but without bheda buddhi vyavahara is not possible in uh, अध्यास भाष्य वीन पश्वादिश्चा विशेषा सो देर इज इन इन वाइल ईटिंग दि ज्ञानी ऑलसो हेज टू हेव संबंध विद दि शरीर एंड देन फीड 
from the other's perspective it is there whether the whether brahma connects with that or not jeeva who has become brahma the jnani jeeva who has become brahma but prarabdha vashad it is going on he is drishti is guna guneshu vartante but then in that guna guneshu vartante there is bheda in the jnani's mind when he is doing that also what is it he is not in samadhi not in nirvikalpaka samadhi anyway sahaja samadhi is what is the uh, state of, which is said to be so for an that jnani who has no sharira bhavana but due to prarabdha the sharira continues then we say he, that is sahaja samadhi especially with you know bhagwan ramana maharshi it was said so sahaja samadhi so he may be you know absorbed and he may not see as to what is happening the body may be continuing at some times you know that, that's why he was not able to speak to people even when people were asking questions he was absorbed his eyes were open sometimes he wouldn't respond and then people had to go in front of him wave and you know try to bring him back that him which is you know the brahma tattva nonetheless what we want to say is that even with dvaita vada being shown as being there in upasana and in smriti also to show jiva brahma bheda as upasaka upasya bheda we do not become dvaitins due to that why anayor bhedastu kalpanikaha anayor jiva parmatmanor bheda na vastavikaha kalpanikaha it is an imagined difference why because upasana has to be made possible when we are discussing upasana we can in discussion also in vada also we have to have two people in vada at least therefore न वास्तव इति रहस्यम दिस इज रहस्यम उपनिषद एक्चुअली उपनिषद हैज अ मीनिंग ऑफ रहस्यम आल्सो दिस इज द रियल उपनिषद रहस्यम दिस इज द एंड एक्चुअली पूजा स्वामी जी से दिस इज परम रहस्यम व्हाई इज इट परम रहस्यम व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सीक्रेट एंड अ एंड द बेस्ट सीक्रेट द अल्टीमेट सीक्रेट ही सेज दिस इज अल्टीमेट सीक्रेट बिकॉज़ द अदर सीक्रेट्स यू हैव टू हाइड एंड इवन इफ यू नो पीपल Uh, when they, when people find out not even if when people find out then it is no longer a secret so they say open secret people may not talk about it you know they but they know oh this is it but what is the best or ultimate secret even if the others know it is not useful it is, has to be sampradaya prapta it has to be shravana manana nidhi dhyasana siddha so just knowing is just knowing and literally just uh, hearing a phrase knowing the wo- words of the and knowing the statement what it means tattvamasi i know you, you are that knowing that secret also jeeva is brahma jeeva brahma aikya just knowing that shruti talks about that and i know oh, i know jeeva is brahma that is not useful there has to be aparoksha jnana that is sakshatkara therefore it is the ultimate secret फर्दर अधुना परमात्म उपास्य आक्षिप्य परहरती नाउ दि इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट वोट हेज कम अप इज दैट ईश्वर सर्वभूता हृदय अर्जुन ठति दिस इज दि स्मृति कॉटेड नाउ यू हेव टू सी दैट देर इज सम श्रुति विच टॉक्स अबउट हृदयशा देर आर मेनी श्रुति विच टॉक अबउट हृदयशा सो स्मृति इज इन कीपिंग विद दि श्रुति now the puro pakshi is reminded of such shruti oh there is some shruti which talks about hrudesha and you have quoted it right so when hrudesha is talked about it is a limited place in limited place there cannot be the limitless brahma that you claim to be limitless there cannot be brahma in hrudesha because you yourself say you know you bang the drums and you run around everywhere in every sabha and say that Brahma has no vastu parichcheda, no kala parichcheda, and what else? No desha parichcheda. But hridesha is only in the region of the heart. Therefore, there is vastu parich, a desha parichcheda. In desha parichcheda, Brahma cannot be there. Brahma cannot be pointed out to be in the hridesha. Why? Because Brahma is sarva vyapaka tattva. That Sarvabhyapi Brahma is not in Hridesha. Who is in Hridesha? Then Jiva. So that is the context in which the next sutra comes up. Aduna Paramatma no Upasya tum Akshipya Pariharati. This Paramatma which you claim to be Upasya, where in Hridesha, 
cannot be upasya in hridesha so whoever is in hridesha he is upasya therefore paramatma is not upasya therefore jiva is upasya parihara is given in the seventh sutra arva kaukastva tad vyapadesha chane ti chen nichayatva devam vyoma vachya arva kaukastva tad vyapadesha chane ti chen nichayatva devam vyoma vachya so arva kaukastva one word tad vyapadesha ch न इति चेत न निचायत्वाद एवं व्योमवत च सो मेनी वर्ड्स आर देयर लॉन्गर सूत्र कंपैरेटिवली सो पद छेद इज नीडेड हियर अरभक औकस्त्वात अरभक एंड ओक दे आर दी पार्ट ऑफ द समास आर देयर एंड देन तस्य भावा त्वम सो अरभक औकह अरभक औकह ओकस शब्द इज देयर ओकस अरभक मींस अल्प ओकस मींस गृहम सो दिस हृदयेशा व्हिच हैज बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट अर्लियर दैट हृदयेशा इज द ग्रह ऑफ सम एंटिटी दैट्स व्हाट इज बीइंग मेंशन देयर यू क्लेम दैट टू बी ब्रह्मा बट दैट स्मॉल हाउस कैन बी अ रेसिडेंस नॉट फॉर ब्रह्मा फॉर जीवा for someone other than brahma at least you should say that it is a limited being not a not that limitless being so arbhakam alpam okaha oka is neuter okas sakaranta so it will become okaha not like ramavat okaha is neuter so arbhakam okaha yasya so this is bhauri now you can make it pullinga which पूर्व पक्ष इज मेकिंग सो अर्भकम अल्पम यस्य जीव से मींस सकारांता इन पुल्लिंग इन एक वचन प्रथमा एक वचन विल बिकम जीव That jiva ha will be arba kauka ha. Then tasse bhava ha arba kauka stvam tasmat arba kauka stvat. That will become he too. Because that jiva is being talked about there, who has the residence. Jiva is not mentioned. What is mentioned? Since that entity is talked about, who has a limited house, has a small house. Which is that? Vidyesha. Arva kau kastvat. And since that is mentioned, tadvya padesha cha. And that is the teaching was upasya. That is the upasya. Therefore, what? So arva kau kastvat. Since jiva has a small residence, the entity has a small residence. and that is the entity which is upasya upadesh vyapadeshaccha as the upasya na na what brahma na upasya parmatma na upasya ha this much is puro paksha iti chet if that be the objection to your brahma being upasya na says the siddhanti not so why nichayatva एवं व्हाट इज दी एग्जांपल गिवन व्योम वच सो निचायत्वाद मींस उपास्यत्वाद व्हाट हैज बीन टॉट यू लुक एट इट बिकॉज़ ब्रह्मा हैज दी उपास्य कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो सेम हेतु सेम सेम इनफैक्ट दिस इज अ हेतु व्हिच इज अ कंक्लूसिव हेतु द कंक्लूजन इटसेल्फ इज गिवन निचायत्वाद ब्रह्मण परमात्मा इज नॉट meant by arba kauka ha and arba kauka uh, arba kauka cannot be arba kaukas cannot be parmatma it has to be jiva because arba kauka that that kind of vyapadesha is there that teaching is there and arba kauka means jiva and arba kauka see arba kauka means jiva puro pakshi says and arba kauka is upasya siddhanti says nichayatva 
as a refutation meaning upas brahmana upasya tva brahma is upasya why so this is a response is nichayatva upasya tva brahmana upasya tva kutaha why because arba kaukastvam is possible for brahma also vyomavat brahma is upasya like vyoma can be in the the way vyoma can be arba kaukas similarly vyoma is this space so vyoman vyoman can be there space is all pervasive akasha is all pervasive do you say that akasha is all pervasive therefore it is not there in the needle in the, the whole of the needle is space there or not akasha is sarvagata brahma is sarvagata siddhanti asks the purva pakshi this akasha which is everywhere can you see that akasha in the eye of the needle that eye of the needle is arbakam it is alpam arbakam alpam and this space is now in the in the arbakam okas it is there in the small eye of the needle therefore this vyoma akasha is what it is arba kaukaha no arba kauka arba kaukaha in neuter if you say but akasha if you say akasha or akasham i think akasha takes both uh, lingas so however you say arba kaukaha or arba kaukaha in neuter that is that can be that akasha which is there in the eye of the needle in the small space eye of the needle where we have difficulty in the threading that needle we have difficulty to pass the thread through that eye of the needle in that kind of place also akasha is there just by being in the eye of the needle akasha does not cease to be akasha similarly brahma can be in hridesha and still be sarvagata brahma so this is the refutation we'll see uh, what the vritti says in the and what is the vishaya quoted in the next part ha amna yante samsiddham adi madhyant varjitam anandha ghana mahapurnam atma jyoti rupasmi namaste namaste prabhu thank you